my Diageo rep might be the one who comes at me with the most fun releases. I mean, not for my own personal self, but just for the masses in general. You all may remember the Captain Morgan put out a gingerbread spice last year, um, late fall going into winter, which I mean, that one was okay. But to me, it wasn't really necessary. A lot of the spices that you get in gingerbread are already present in Captain Morgan's spice. So I, I don't know why we needed to do that. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. And yes, I enjoyed it in apple cider and coffee and hot chocolate and all that jazz. But uh, this one, this one right here, this one is their summer release, which it's like 35 degrees outside. So why we've already got summer limited edition rum, I do not know. But it's here. It's in my account. You can go buy it if you want it. And from what I can tell, just from the little bit of feedback that I've gotten, which is actually more than I expected, a lot of people are really excited about this flavor. It is an orange vanilla twist. So basically this is like a orange creamsicle Captain Morgan. Quite possibly the most fun thing about this is the fact that uh, old Captain here is wearing like a, a Hawaiian shirt instead of his regular pirate shirt. I enjoy that. I don't know if anyone else enjoys that. And again, my Diageo rep has ruined like sort of like that first look thing because he did open a bottle and let me smell it. And I know my face did the thing that my face does. And sorry, you guys don't get that because your girl already smelled it and it smells real nice. I mean, it smells like those orange creamsicle, like the, the popsicles with the vanilla ice cream on the inside, which I'm not ever going to eat a popsicle just to eat a popsicle. But if I was going to eat a popsicle, that's the one I would eat because there's a variety of textures and flavors and, you know, things. So let's just give it a whirl. Oh, and I put it in, in a twisty glass. It's in a twisty glass because it's orange vanilla twist. Lame. There's that creamsicle smell. Whoa. That definitely tastes like those popsicles. That is, oh man, it's so creamy. And it is definitely, it's, it's got the kind of artificial that I expect from Captain Morgan, which is also the kind of artificial that I expect in those orange cream skull popsicles that are the only ones that I would ever care to eat. It's crazy to me how the vanilla in it, and maybe it's because I went into it wanting to taste this, but to me, the vanilla in it does taste like um, those cheap uh, vanilla ice cream cups that you get, or, you know, when you were a kid, it had like the paper top and there was like a little spoon in there. It's like that kind of like fake vanilla and fake orange, but it's fake in a way that I really appreciate because it is extremely nostalgic, like crazy nostalgia. Um, I don't even remember the last time I had one of those things, but like this is just taking me right to that moment, eating those ridiculous popsicles. It's a bit dangerous. It is a bit dangerous. This is true. Um, it's, I mean, it tastes like, it, it tastes exactly like what I wanted it to taste like. And it doesn't have any kind of like rum burn at all. So you could really probably easily drink a whole lot of this and not realize that you're doing this is only 60 proof. So about what expected for a flavored spirit. They're, they usually run a little bit lower. Um, but I do have a bevy of mix got basic Sprite because one of my regulars told me that that was the legit way to drink it. And then I've got Coke because that's the way my rep told me that it was good, uh, which makes sense to me because like that orange vanilla Coke is pretty good. And then my rep also told me that it was good in Dr. Pepper. So I've got these three things. I'm gonna mix this with these three things and I'm gonna let you know which one of these mixers I think is the best one. What do you think a standard ratio is for people? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Like one to three, one part mix or one part liquor, three part mixer. I that seems that seems right. I've never, I guess I've never been a normal people. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna I'm trying really hard here to mix in proportions that normal people mix. So this is about one part of uh, rum to three ish parts sprite. I just thought that starting out with sprite 
is probably the smart way to go um, as far as not wrecking my palette with these these bold guys over here. So um, I can definitely still smell the rum in it. Like that orange is definitely still coming through. Uh, not as much on the vanilla. So let's just check it out. I don't know about that. I don't know. That lemon lime citrus does something weird with the vanilla and I'm, mm, 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 I don't, this is not the mixer for me. I can tell you right now that uh, I'm probably gonna like one of these better. Maybe if there was more rum in it, like in proportions that I would mix it in, maybe. But in normal people ratios, no. No. No, I tried it. I tried putting more rum in there, like in a proportion that I would normally mix and no thank you. Okay, this is standard. I mean, Captain and Coke, that's about as classic as it gets for single liquor, single mixer drinks that you see people drinking. Um, this should probably taste better though, because this is, this is world champions, Kansas City Chiefs Coca-Cola, so. Man, that's definitely better, but in a normal ratio, in normal people ratios, that is lost. That orange vanilla, it's like barely there, like in the very, very end, and I was looking for it. So I'm going to say either no to Coke or I'm, I'm going to put some more rum in this and see if, if a, a Molly proportion works a little bit better. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to get to the point that I don't think that this is supposed to be mixed, at least not with any of your standard mixers. All right, now we've got Dr. Pepper with this orange vanilla Captain Morgan, which I sort of makes sense to me from like a theory standpoint, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not this actually works in practice. That smells real nice. That might be the best one out of all of them, but the orange is like gone. There's really no orange, but there is something that kind of brings out more of the vanilla in it. So this almost just tastes like a vanilla Dr. Pepper now. I mean, I'm fine with vanilla Dr. Pepper, but the orange is gone. Again, normal people, one to three-ish ratio, not the way I would pour it. So we'll just, we'll see. That's better. Okay, so in a higher liquor to mixer ratio, this is almost a perfect mixer. Uh, there's a lot of really nice complimentary flavors happening there. At first when he told me Dr. Pepper, I thought it was weird, but then I really got to thinking about the kinds of flavors that you get from Dr. Pepper. I'm like, actually, I totally see how that would work. So this one, this mixer works, in my personal opinion, in ratios that I would normally mix, probably not ratios that you would normally mix. But hey, just try it because I think it's pretty good. So final thoughts, um, this is definitely, to me, this was way more fun than their last limited release that they did. I would definitely recommend it if you're somebody who likes that uh, creamsicle, dreamsicle flavor. This definitely delivers. Yes, it is very artificial, but it is artificial in a way that you're expecting if that's the flavor that you are looking for. As far as single liquor, single mixer, Sprite is an absolute no to me. Yuck. Like, oh, no, icky. I mean, you go ahead and try it if you think that's going to work, but I hated it. I thought it was bad. Uh, Coke, eh, like, okay, but um, I'm going to agree with Pike he said that it made it taste like a Diet Coke, like it made it, it have that sort of aspartame taste, which makes sense because there is so much artificial happening in this that it's like like Coke brought out the artificialness that's in this bottle. Whereas Dr. Pepper kind of 
elevated it and made it taste like a little more fancy. Um, but all in all, I think it's really tasty. Would I mix it with anything? Probably not. I probably wouldn't mix it. I would just drink it on the rocks. Um, or I definitely have ideas in my head for fun adult milkshakes. So if you're feeling like adventurous and you want to, you know, try to do something fancy, get your blender out. Do something there because there's there's a lot of play that you could do with a blender and really like sherbet, different kinds of ice cream. Um, I mean, just like milkshakes all day, daiquiris. There's so many applications for like fun, complex cocktails that you could use this for. Limited edition, summer release in February because that's just how we do things now, I guess. Like, oh, it's a summer release. We're gonna put it out when it's 32 degrees and when you want it, when it's actually like 105, it'll be long gone sold out and we'll have Crown Royal salted caramel on the shelves. It's ridiculous. But anyway, thanks for watching once again. Go out, find this if you're a Dreamsicle fan. I think you'll really enjoy it and stay tuned.